Uh, today I'm doing a hat and I did not show you the hat how I did on the front but I did use the the hat hoop uh, which I have found works great with men's hats but doesn't work that well with the ladies hats uh, so it came out on um, really nice um, it is a whoop, it is a black hat with um, a red and I know sometimes the video changes it but it's a red um, font on the thread on the front with the font all right so now what i'm going to do now i have put in a little hoop and i'm not sure what size this is um yeah it looks like the inside of it is about two inches by three and a half or so that's not an exact measurement but uh, and it says e on it i'm not sure if that really matters but this is the hoop i'm using and what i want to do is i want to put um his initials on the back um, in red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hoop, I'm going to put this in the hoop and I'm going to use the little dot on the side to line up the the thread and I'm going to line it right up with the thread so I know that it's centered and I'm going to make sure that this side just by lifting it up and it's perfectly in the middle and I use this the little, the little um, tab, not tab, but the little border stuff that runs in the side inside of the hat Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just kind of press it in and I've used tear away with some spray, um, temporary spray adhesive. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the font that I'm going to use. Um, I'm just going to use a block style font on the back. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep it small and I may end up having to go the other direction. Um, but um, I think I might. I, think I might go this way so that I'll have more room. So what I'll do here is I also have a dot on the side of the um, hoop. So I'm going to line up this center thread line where it's the cloth is put together. I'm going to actually make sure it's nice and straight. And it probably would be easier to do this before I get it on. So let's take it off. And I need another light in here too. Alright. So I have that one lined up with there there. I'm just gonna check this side and make sure that I line this one up the same way. Okay, perfect. Alright. And I'll just make sure the whole hat is, and this one's moved on me. Check this one again. Perfect. And you can pin the hat if you need to. Um, just doesn't really look centered. Okay, alright, there. So I'm going to put it back on, making sure that I don't move it any. And it just clicks in place. I'm going to make sure it's pressed down. I want you kind of, and I could use pins, but I don't really need pins. It might make it a little easier, but I try not to pin things. Alright, and I'm going to put in G a G and an L and I'm going to use capital letters um, that is one inch over one inch which is really too big for what I'm wanting so I'm going to make it a little smaller that's a little over half of an inch which is probably about what I want so I'm going to go ahead with that and then I'm going to put an, um, an L in there and I'm going to set. I'm going to rotate. Not sure if you can even see what I'm doing. Not that it really matters on this side, but I'm going to rotate it. And you'll always make sure that however you have the hat, so I want the top of it this way. So um, up here I have the 
the top on the right side. I hope it's your right side, but it's my right side. Okay, so now I'm going to um, position it a little bit. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to space it out some because I want the letters to kind of be um, over the seam line. So just click this. And it's moving it apart. Okay. I might not want it that far apart. I don't know. We'll have to see. And I'm playing. This is my first time doing one of these. So I'm kind of playing with it. All right. I'm going to uh, click embroider. I'm not going to actually embroider it yet. I'm going to check the spacing. Okay. So it's telling me that the bottom, which this is considered the bottom, is going to be here. I want it to go a little further down, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to, and if you notice, it's moving it, and I don't know if you can see my little red dot. That's the bottom of it. Okay, that's as far as it's going to let me go, so I'm going to have to go with that. This And the dot should be the center. Oops, sorry, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know what I did. I moved it back again. Okay, I've got to do it again. All right, that's it. So, but this dot should be right in the center, and you can use your thread line as a guide, the one that's right in the middle. I can tell, and I'm not sure if you can, but my dot is not right on the line, so I'm going to move it over. And then that is perfect. It is right on the thread line. All right, and that's where I'm going to... Um, start but what I want to do is I want to go see how far it's gonna and it's telling me that I'm out of the line so I've got to go back up okay so what I do is I click OK and I'm gonna go back up just a couple times um and then I'm gonna let's see if it'll let me yeah perfect alright so what it's showing me is that my the outside part of my G is gonna be right over here and then my L is gonna be over here so I think that's going to be okay. We're going to try it and see how it works. I'm going to click OK and lock and go. And I'm not, I don't have my finger in the way. It might kind of look like it, but I don't. down so that I can kind of watch it with my finger. And again, I did use tear away, so all I would do is just um, tear it away. And I'm going to stop. I'm not sure I like that G. It doesn't really look like a G to me. It is a G, but it doesn't have the little side thing on it. So I'm going to stop. Okay, and this, um, I'm, I had to rip out the the G that I, I did. Um, I did the G, and the G just didn't look like a G to me, or the kind that I wanted, and I didn't pay attention to that. So I did uh, ripped it out. I ripped it out. I used this little thing here, works great. Uh, I started on the inside and carefully just cut it. It only took me about five minutes, probably not even five minutes to get the G off. Uh, and it didn't mess the hat up. Um, I put the hat on using the dot right here for the center line, and there's another dot on the other side. I used a little bit of spray adhesive, and this is where I did the other G. That's fine; it's not going to hurt anything. Um, so I'm just I'm not redoing the piece. So what I do is I'm going to carefully slide this on. Oops. Yeah, I was thinking I had it on backwards. That's right. All right. Carefully slide it in. I want to make sure I put the hat under there, hold it in. I don't want it to flip off or pull. I don't usually pin. A lot of people pin. I don't usually pin if I can help it. Um, and, and with this, I don't really need to pin. I'm just doing two little letters. And I'm going to line it up with the seam of the hat as my center. I've already got my two letters on there. 
Uh, I did a space in between and then just pushed them back together some. Um, I didn't want the space to be too big, but it needed to be, I didn't want it to be exactly um, together. So I did a little space in between. I am going to use the, and I guess I could show you, um, this camcorder is like really, really aggravating. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click embroidery. And I am going to go here to the plus sign. Hold on just one second. What, baby? Kaylin, mommy. Kaylin. Kaylin, mama's videotaping. I'm going to slow down. Who? Honor and Grace. Okay. All right, tell them to slow down. And if everybody can't get along, we're all coming inside. Okay? Thank you. Sorry about that. All right, so what I do is I click on the one here with the plus sign. And I do have my little pen, the stylus that I'm supposed to be using. All right, it comes up, and this part here will move my laser. You see the little laser right there. I want it exactly on this little stitch, this little stitch, so that I know that it's in the center. So I am going, actually, click OK. I'm going to move it down because that's toward me. And that looks like it is right on the seam. So now I know I'm ready. But now I want to see the bottom. So I'm going to go. How, I need to know how far it's going to be. Okay, it's going to be that far. That's just a little too too close for me. So actually, I haven't um, rotated. I need to rotate. So I'm going to go rotate. And I need to rotate to the left. So I'm going to go 90 degree, degrees to the left. Now it's the way it's going to be on the hat. Okay, because on the top of the letters on this side and the bottom of the letters on this side. So I'm going to check my thing. It's still on the stitch. So I'm going to go to the bottom. Okay, that's the bottom of the stitch here. That far from the hat. Um, I think I'm going to go a little bit closer. Maybe about right there. And I'm going to see where the other side of it is. The, the left side of it is going to be here. And the right side is going to be there. Make sure the middle is in the middle again. It is. And I'm ready to stitch. So, um, I don't use any uh, topper on this because I found that the hats just don't need it. Now, if I use t-shirts, I do. Um, and I use tearaway on the bottom because I don't want anything cut. If you're using a hat hoop, you don't have to use anything. The hat hoop is sufficient, but you do have to have some way to um, attach the hat to the hoop. Uh, whether you're using a hoop or you're using a fast frame. So, um, I think I am ready. So, I'm going to press check it one more time. I'm a double checker, triple track checker. That's the top. That's going to be the bottom. I think that's going to actually be perfect. So I'm going to click OK and hold my breath. I always hold my breath. I don't know why because it, it worries me. And then I'm going to click lock. And go. I never can get over that fear. It just that um, The fear of just hitting it and you didn't quite double check something or whatever. But anyway. And this is just going to be a G and an L. And what I, I did the little space in the middle because I did want to kind of skip over the, the um, seam line. But if you don't skip over the seam line, it's not a big deal. I just didn't want the L to be going right down the middle of the seam line. Because sometimes those seams, the thread can hide down in there. And it makes it look like it didn't quite stitch right, even though it did. Um, so, there goes the G. Okay, and you see it skipped over.
and then it's going to say that it's done. I'm going to click OK. And I worried that it would, but it looks like it, 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 it's right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I will take it off. And I always forget how to take, there you go. I always forget how to take them off, and I have to, um, to figure it out every time. So that's no big deal. But, so this is what the back of the hat looks like. I'm going to just rip it off and turn it over. I find if I do it from the top and the bottom, I um, always take my tweezers and just kind of pull that piece out of the middle so it doesn't just leave it stuck in the middle. And these tweezers aren't any good. I found that out the other day when I was trying to, I think it was yesterday, when I was actually trying to thread the needle. Somehow I've got them bent or something and they just don't, they don't um, do correctly. I just snip off, making sure that I'm not getting the other threads. Put my finger up, pop anything up, go on a little bit. And there we go. There we have it. I have the back of the hat. Ah, let me zoom you out a little bit. Okay, the back of the hat looks like this. And looks nice to me. And the front of the hat, and this is red, looks like this. And you can't really tell. It looks kind of pink to me looking through the camcorder lens, but hopefully it looks red to you. But anyway, it's black hat with um, red. It says retired and then it has his initials on the back so that's how I um hoop the back like so this was my first one but it, it's not really hard uh, to do uh, and the front one I did use the hat hoop um, which and I didn't I don't think I videotaped it but anyway use the hat hoop like this to do the front part and um, it hooks to this piece here and I put some cloth underneath it, a little piece I bought, and I keep meaning to do something different, some rubber or something, but I just haven't had time to do it. But this is where the hat hoop is, um, that, where you put the hat on. But anyway, I'm, I'm liking it. Um, I, think, I think it turned out really nice. I think he's going to like it. And now I have um, a pink bunny and a blue Easter bunny that I need to embroider that goes along with this order. So I'm going to get started on those. Thanks for watching. This is Sean Woodell from Heavenly Soaps and Such, and I will see you next time.